you know, not only that I roll that out to other disciplines besides electrical contractors, like I talked about with solar and designers and architects, but then I kind of rolled my employees up into it as well. I found my employees coming at first just to network and to meet somebody. Hey, I'm an inside guy. I never met you before. I'd like to shake your hand. We are, we're always a voice over the phone. Now put a, a, you know, a face to the voice. And then I found my employees sticking around for the class and actually sitting there and learning. And on their own time, though, now they're punched out and they're at the class and they were just going to do a 10-minute handshake and walk out the door. But some of them actually got it and said, hey, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to learn. So now I have, you know, a double-edged thing here where I got, you know, relationship building with contractors, providing a value-added service, doing it professionally, subliminal sales pitch that I can run through there. And now I got this employee training happening. And so my employees are now becoming brighter and smarter and, and adding more valuable to the whole, uh, value to the whole sales process when they get back to their inside sales desk or outside job or counter job. And at the end, I realized that, hey, we all sell the same things here in the electrical industry. I compete with, you know, hundreds of other distributors for their business. You know, we can either compete on price and drive each other's margins down into the ground, or what I do is say, listen, I'm going to save you money at the end of the day, regardless of the upfront cost. Of course, I have to be competitive. Everybody has to be competitive, but I want to prevent you from making mistakes, and I want to prevent your van from leaving my shop and saying, oh my gosh, I forgot to ask Warshower for this, or I need this to complete my job. And the way I'm going to do that is by having the most well-educated, the smartest sales force in the country. So my guys might ask intelligent questions as they're typing in an order and saying, hey, what are you doing and how are you doing? And oh, by the way, you know, you need two of those, not one of those. So I didn't want you to leave. Oh, good. Thanks. that You, you reminded me of that because I would have left. And how much is that time worth to drive all the way back when it wasn't my fault? I gave you what you asked for, but because I'm smart and because I'm educated and I know codes and standards and things like that, I ask intelligent questions and prevent you from making mistakes. And what is that worth to you at the end of a month, at the end of a year? I'm going to save you money. I might not be the lowest cost on the widget, but I'll save you money at the end of the year by having the most educated sales force. So now my salespeople, as you saw, last night you know I had over you know probably 10 of my employees on their own time at that training class that I held last night with 75 electrical contractors in it and people that don't come to my training classes the salespeople that don't they're required to take one online training class a week because I'm, I'm totally convinced that the best angle to, to you know add value to the sales process is by having the smartest and brightest people you know behind the counter behind the phones or you know selling in front of the customers so that's my goal is to have the most educated sales force in the country and we're well on our way to that because every year my employees either get exposed to you know 30 or 40 classes that I'll put on and or you know 50 online training courses that they'd be required to take you know one a week for the whole year